So Abu Bakr, you are following Kolkata team. Yes. So you play in South Africa. Yes, we play uh, cricket in South Africa. We've been playing both of us since we were about five, six years old. Um, the cricket standard is very different in South Africa compared to how it is here in India. So it's nice to see how serious they take it over here, get a little bit more insight that we can take back home and share with our fellow teammates. And South Africa is also good in football. We love football. You are here in Kolkata and that is a Pele played here in this match, in this very ground. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. play. Yeah, and we... that was a two-all draw with Mohan Bagan. Wow. Yeah, we, we love football in Cape Town, especially in South Africa. Our number one sport is actually rugby. Uh, yeah. We won the Rugby World Cup last year. Um, but yeah, South Africa is known for, for being good in all of its overall sports, cricket, soccer, football, rugby, hockey now even as well, and uh, most recently, paddle. And Waka Waka was more famous, yeah. Yeah, very good song. Uh, we were at the game the other day and we heard them playing it on the speakers that uh, brought back a little bit of nostalgia, remembering back to the 2010 World Cup that was in South Africa. So this is your first time in Kolkata? What? First time in Kolkata, we're enjoying it. It's only a uh, issue I'd say is it's very hot here. I'm sweating at the moment, yeah. But otherwise, the people are lovely, the food is lovely. We're having a great time. And what about Hashim Amla? What is he doing now? Hashim Amla at the moment is retired, he's doing a little bit of coaching on the side, commentary as well. Um, and he's got his own private investments that he's working on. Uh, recently, did you meet him? We haven't met him maybe for the past two or three years. Okay. Yeah. And he's a devout Muslim? Devout Muslim, yeah. He's uh, memorized the entire Quran. He's often at, seen at the mosques on Fridays. Uh, that's why I said at the beginning, a very good leader. Uh, both on and off the field for the youth and uh, the people of South Africa and the rest of the world. And uh, Hakim Abla refused to support that uh, beer logo. Castle. Yes, uh, he took his stance. He wasn't going to be compromised no matter the, the, the wealth or the fines that he had to pay. Uh, he stuck to his religious um, standards and morals and he didn't compromise on those beliefs that he has. He's so really showing that regardless of the money, he's going to stay true to his religion. And what is the position and status of Muslims in South Africa? There's a lot of Muslims in South Africa. Um, you being a Muslim too? Yes, we are Muslims as well. There's a lot of Muslims in South Africa. South Africa is known as the rainbow nation. So practicing whether you are Muslim, Christian, Jewish, Hindu, um, you've got your freedom of speech, you've got your mosques, your temples, your churches. Uh, everyone kind of is respectful of the next person. So being a Muslim in South Africa, uh, we really don't have any complaints. The government supports us. The president uh, celebrated Eid at now at the end of Ramadan with the fellow Muslims. Uh, so there's a lot of happiness, a lot of uh, welcomeness within the South African community to all races and religions. Do you keep fast? Yes, we keep fast. In all 30 days. And uh, where do you say your prayer in South Africa? Where do you live uh, actually in South Africa? In Cape Town, South Africa. Oh, Cape Town. Yeah. How are the Muslims there? Very in good, good positions? Very good. And what about the Muslims players in South Africa? The Muslim? Players in football, in cricket. Yeah, there's quite we a lot. We knew only um, Hachi Mamla. Where is Shamsi, right? Uh, in the top 10. Shamsi, Tabrez Shamsi, Muslim, spin bowler. Uh, he's in the top 10 in, South, uh, in the world bowling rankings at the moment. He's a Muslim player. Obviously, we had Imran Tahir as a good player. Yeah. But um, he's from Pakistan, no? Originally, Tahir. but he's a South African citizen now. So he was representing the national team. And uh, what about the other players in other fields like in football? Any Muslim player? Yeah, you've got your Muslim players, um, especially in the local soccer leagues. A lot of them are playing in Cape Town, in Durban, etc. So there are a lot of Muslims dominating in the different sports. Do you have any Muslim f football club in South Africa? Not like governed by Muslims? No, not necessarily. There's like local soccer teams, but not professional clubs. Um, as I was mentioning, South Africa is a place that welcomes all religions and all faiths and is respectful of everyone. So you don't have necessarily one club just for that specific religion. And there is a club in Kolkata where you are sitting just 100 meters from here. And that club is uh, 125 years old around. Wow. That is a Muslim club. Really? Yeah. Very nice. The name is Mohammedan Sporting Club. Okay. So, do you have any club, old old club like that? Uh, we have a lot of old clubs, yes. Um, football clubs. Some of our football clubs have been around since the 18th, 18th century. Um, 
So yeah, there's, there's especially football in South Africa. It carries a lot of legacy, a lot of history. Um, so yeah, we, we we do have similar clubs back up. And South Africa is also good in, in athletes also. They have a good athletes also. So yes, very good athletes. I mean, uh, most recently we had Wade van Niekerk in the Olympics breaking the records, bringing home gold medal for South Africa. Um, Drika Zuplessy with the UFC also. Um, so we got a lot. We also had the swimmers like Chad Leclo who was winning a lot of the races. Uh, so yeah, in all forms of sports, in all forms of fields, uh, the South Africans are really dominating and putting our name on the map. Thank you very much.